Oh, jeez, just go ahead and start, why don't you? What? I thought we were starting. Well, I know, but... Did just run on water? Yeah, he did. Did I not do that in three? We haven't played three. Oh, we haven't uploaded three. Which means we haven't played it. And you failed. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, welcome back to more Sonic before the sequel. Um, I'm Chaos Maelstrom. I'm about to uh, have to take a phone call to Fire 4. Uh, do you want us to pause the break on? No. no. So, yeah, uh, we had to wait a long time because it took a while for that video to render properly. Everything but... about this process is being slow for us. Yeah, but... Ironic, hey. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but hey, at, at least it gave us the opportunity to experience some of the distinct culture of Tumblr. Define? Do you how how do you not remember that post we just listened to? Oh, that was Tumblr. Yes, that was Tumblr. Okay. Where, where, where do you think? Do you really think that post like that that would be safe anywhere else? I thought it was YouTube. Yeah, cause, cause you could totally find something like that on YouTube. You could. Well, it's just that that would be normally accompanied with video, and you'd really think they'd be able to find video to accompany with that. Hold on, we might be thinking, oh god. Never mind, I'm thinking about the wrong thing. What were you thinking of? I was thinking of the JoJo post that's all Joseph. Oh. No! What? I can't, uh, somehow my mind just completely blocked out the other thing we watched that I will not explain what it was on recording. Because we, because to be fair, that's not something you we should really be sharing because... Yeah. Well then again, this is the group channel so it doesn't really matter, but... Right. Let's just say, um, it was some really interesting voice acting. I'm glad, I'm both simultaneously happy and sad that they don't dub hentai anymore. Let's leave it at that. Well, that, that explained enough. Yeah, but it didn't explain the weirder parts. Hey, camera chair is taking a while on that phone call. Yeah, I'm glad we talked about this now because he would talk about everything. Probably. There are barriers in this game? I mean barriers. Oh, yeah. Just the one shield in this game, but there's like three in this second one. Oh, yeah. Just wanted to get some of those rings. Yeah. You're terrible at this, aren't you? <laughs> nope. There you go. <laughs> the game will just not let you leave this area. No, of course not. It'd be weird if you left that area. What's the phone call about? Mm -hmm. What's the phone call about? Work? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he wasn't here to offer his input on that conversation we were having earlier. Okay. So, um, oh, come on. Fuck it. I was so ready for there to be a second one where I was going. I was expecting it. That's, that's usually how it works. There's like three in a row. Or then they uh, just uh, put one of those things there and you forget about it so long enough to the point where you keep going fast and thinking nothing's in front of you, only have another one right in front of you as the camera pans right into it. That's one thing I hate about classic Sonic games. How the cam how you're going so fast to the point you can't see what's in front of you. Yeah. Didn't you just say classic Sonic games don't let you go fast? Yes, well, Make up your mind, Sean. No, I'm saying that they do let you go fast. They're not built to let you go fast, though. Uh, no fairness. Oh, God damn it. See what I mean? Well, this game didn't do that. That was my fault. Man, this reminds me of the times I play Sonic games. I see him getting hit every two seconds. <laughs> to be fair, I should have seen the signs. There... Ah! It's amazing because obviously that sign's there to warn you, but every time I see one, I stop and wonder, wait, what the fuck is that? And then the motorbug hits me. <laughs> like, see? There's a motorbug sign. <laughs> Though I missed. Oh god. I didn't know motorbugs flew. Well, duh, they're bugs. They've got ones. I've never seen a motorbug off the ground. Wait, wasn't this Act 3? That was Act 2. Oh, okay. 
So how many acts are there? Three acts for every stage. I mean, how many zones? Zones? I am not sure. I want to say there are seven. Okay. Well, that's a good guess. To be fair, that was my guess, too. Considering that's the usual map of zones. And then Sonic and Tails share the seventh zone. Uh, how's that gonna work out? Tails gets act two. Oh. How does that flying motobug? You it was out of the room. No, you were you were in the room when we were talking about that. You were looking at your phone, weren't you? Probably. I'm trying to get the squirt thing settled. Oh wait, you, they ended up taking the ship? They can't. Uh, They're already over hours. Fuck. Okay. Well, great. We'll have to discuss that in a moment, but, uh... I'm working on. I have to say, this game is a pretty good recreation of what a classic Sonic game would be. Even if you don't like a lot of classic Sonic all that much. How is he doing that? How is he doing that? Sonic has magnetic boots. Fucking Sonic. Okay, clearly see he's not going fast enough. This must it must be on 06 physics. Yeah, I will say the engine is a little weird for running upside down. Like that's my only real gripe with how this engine works. Damn it. You ran right into it. Ironically, it's actually worse than the second one because if you bump up against any asset that's sloped upside down, you immediately stick to it. Um, um, oh, okay. oh, I was supposed to do that. Fast speed! Oh boy, now you get to run into everything twice as much! I've never actually heard the speed music for this game. It's nice. Oh! If I run into everything, I guess I mean the goal. But can you clear the special stage? Oh, what's the music from? This is the Top Gun music. What's Top Gun? Uh, Top Gun 3000 specifically? That's an answer. It's a SNES game based on the TV, or Top Gear, I'm sorry. Ah! Top Gear, this. Thank you. Don't know how I missed that. And there he goes. Sonic? Oh, here he goes. Because I said it! Michael, which one of us said it? Which one? The... Hey! What was that well, he said? said it that time. I heard Sean say it first time. Thank you. Yeah, I guess. Damn it, middle one. Fell for it again? Wow. I actually know what the bottom one was probably the best for that. Because you can go up whenever you feel like it. Oh. More Kirby Superstar. Who really likes Kirby? Da da dum! Dino Blade. Sonic must now fight Dino Blade. Oh, Zetag's under construction. Now we just gotta nuke it before it can make its um, construction completed. There you go. Is this the boss I hate? You gotta whop it so you can shoot it with your M16 and a womp rat. No, that's not the way. It's... Okay, that's the Hyper Zone. That's when you fight Dark Matter in Dreamland 3. It's another Gawandra machine! So is the boss you hate? No. Do I have to fight the boss you hate? No, I know for a fact it's a Sonic. Okay, good. I actually like Tails' bosses a lot more than I like. Wow, that was pathetic! It's not done yet. Okay. That was just, for, that was just the first uh, week's spot. Still, that was pathetic. How many total? Ten. Okay. That's about right. All right. Well, <laughs> this is gonna go great. Uh, I can't wait to see what I have to deal with now. I think this is actually my favorite stage. Oh, great game offensive. Senpai! Why won't you notice me? Wait. 
<laughs> okay, that is just legitimately ripped off Great Cave Offensive. This, yep, this is my favorite stage of the game. That, that cutscene legitimately ripped off Great Cave Offensive. So this stage is based off of all the scrap level ideas for Sonic 2. Yes, yeah, so what the did. fuck? Okay. I don't know what's up with him. There's one that does that weird spin kick move too, so watch out for him. So I move, 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 goodbye! Basically. I, oh, oh wait, that's not a minecart, that was a minecart. What the frick? Found it. Zimbogin, Zimbogin! Is that what it's called? It sounds something like that. Yo, yo. Alright, well. <laughs> he said it. Come on, say the line! I don't know if other signs for everything in this game. Yeah, apparently it doesn't let you know when hazards are coming up, though. They'll let you know when enemies are coming up, but they won't let you know when a giant spike ball of death was gonna be showing up right around the corner. It was seen that. It was your own fault. You jumped into it trying to avoid. It's like the one giving you some goodbye. This song is actually, well, this is a remix of it, obviously. But this song is actually still in Sonic 2. Why wouldn't it be in Sonic 2? Because the level it's for never got used. Okay. okay. You play Sonic 2? I don't recognize this song. Because the level yeah, we, we, didn't get used. Cameron, we played Sonic 2. You just said that the music is still in Sonic 2. Yeah, it's in the sound test. That's okay, what's up, with, what's up with these crystals? Uh, they keep your momentum going in certain directions. They're really weird. So go left. Oh. Ah, no! No! <laughs> no! Oh, well. It's still in the sound test. It's track number 10, but no level actually uses it. Touch the sign. Oh, look. Tails goes flying past it. Uh, and then he goes like, uh, ding. I love how hitting the goalpost automatically sucks you right no matter what direction you're running. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, <laughs> oh, hello. This is... Hey, now we got the more appropriate color scheme for um, Cave Offensive. This is the wood zone. Well, are we gonna play Wispy? Ah! You ran right into that! It snuck up on me! It yeah, yeah. snuck up on you! It was on screen for like a good 12 seconds! Hidden Palace was like almost finished when it was cut from Sonic 2. It was so close to being finished that the icon for the level is still in the game and shows up when you use Sonic. Oh, oh you, uh, really? Go into Screw Sonic it. 3's level, so like using Sonic 2. Oh, wait, I can't do that anymore. Never really? What? Hmm? Okay, there was no warning for that. There's a way you can cheat Sonic 3 to unlock the level selected debug mode in Sonic for using Sonic 2. You can't do that anymore. Why? Because you have to be able to reset the console. Like, soft reset. Ah, uh, but you don't have the reset. Yeah. What the? You basically... Yeah. I tried, but... Oh. Spikes. Oh, geez, this would be such a problem if I don't know, couldn't fly. I thought you were kidding. There's spikes are on both game. sides, Sean. But yeah, you basically access level select in Sonic 2, take the cartridge out of the console, put Sonic 3 in, and then reset it. What? <laughs> Screw you! It's the most convoluted thing ever, and I love it. So it's, a, it's so much easier when all you do is do up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Well, I didn't even touch that one! That, there, there, is, there is a way to do get Sonic 3's level select that way, but it, you have to do it so fast that they just added a backdoor. I do like backdoors. Hmm. Chi Chi doesn't let me use hers anymore. <laughs> God. No! Not this time! Not this time! <laughs> Screw you, turtle! What does she ever do to you? <laughs> uh, Screw you, Hermit Perf! Hermit Perf. Turtle Perf! Blame the turtle for the Hermit Perf. That's what's right. 
Alright, where are we now? It's level stack three. This is Dust Kill Zone, which they were, went back when Sonic 2 had, had the plans for time what? travel. It would switch between an ice zone and a desert level. Dust Hill is actually where Mirage Saloon, the Mania, came from. What's Mirage Saloon? It's a desert level. I don't believe you. I want proof. There's footage of it online. What? 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 Oh, yeah, sure, now there's stuff coming out of there. You saw coming out of there the whole time, you just weren't watching. There was, it, it, it came out. The first time it came out was as soon as I jumped under it. Oh, rock. You got another falling rock on foot time travel. <laughs> I should heed Super Mario 64's advice and watch for falling rocks. There's, there's gonna rock. A rock's gonna fall on me now, isn't it? Watch for falling rocks. Is there not one there? It's surprise. It really looks like there should be. Okay. No! Heart eyes, motherfucker. Watch for eyes, motherfucker. Rude eyes, motherfucker. I just got over it. You, you actually like, like the hundred games? What? Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> apparently this way just takes me back. Well, duh. Back to time for again! Yeah, they're... The level assets are the best. Alright, come on. Let's actually get to the end of the stage now here. I actually really like how the music changes depending on what part of the stage you're in. Hasn't it been changing? Yeah, let's do it now. Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. Oh, that is cool. I thought it just be changing. Yeah, something's gonna hit me right about now. Flip. Nope, oh, this is actually the end. Really? Yeah. Why don't I believe you? Okay. Hey, Ray, I can see the light. We made it out. We're out of the great cave. Woo! Wow, it was getting ready to <laughs> suck you <laughs> off screen. God damn it! What? Oh, well. Ah! Ah! What the oh, frick? Game. This what? was the actual track from Sonic 2. Whoa! Uh, okay, I didn't, didn't mean to jump like that. This is actually my favorite track in the game, which is hilarious because it's not actually used. Hypnotizing in a way. The stage of the music. <laughs> the music, obviously. <laughs> no, the the, sta oh, the right. stage is oh. just eye straining. It's okay. Revenge of Meta Knight now. It is a lot better on lower resolution. Squeak. The hamster wheel of I mean, the hamster wheel of death. Okay, this is remix of the Sonic Colors boss fight. Okay, now you just hit Wait, no! It's the actual Sonic Colors boss fight song. Now we just hit Voltorb a bunch. Yeah, this is legitimately ripped from Sonic Colors. <laughs> one of the test stages for this game is actually a remake of one of the Sonic Colors levels. Really? I want to get a ring. Yeah, those things, if they turn yellow, like, you can use, you can get a, a, get a coin out of them. And that was the most amazingly timed hit I've ever seen. Really? That was the most amazingly timed hit I've ever seen on me. Oh, he doesn't hurt you. I'm of course not. It's a giant floating headless guy. You know how soft works. You know how game logic works up here. There we go. 
Tails got through boss. About boss hat. Alright, so that was 20 minutes. We'll watch this cutscene and then we'll call it quits. So, let's see what horrors await us in Neo Metropolis Zone. Oh, I remember this cutscene. It makes it really obvious that the guy who programmed this wasn't entirely. He didn't really understand English very well. Let's see that. This Death Egg Launch Project. Lunch pro Death Egg Lunch Project. I think he's gotten better since. They actually recently launched a Steam game. Yeah, see. A Steam game? <laughs> success launch! Success! Launch me too low. A Steam game. The like Chaos and Morale. Spark the ele- if I'm allowed to plug, spark the electric jester. What the fuck's a jester? Alright, so that's it for this episode. So, next time we'll come back in on Sunset Star Zone. So, until next time, this has been Chaos Maelstrom. I'm still not going to play a classic Sonic game, Fire 4. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, bye. Come on. God, now there's two of them.